you but this is the end of the omen film with Doctor Who in it <laughs> uh, and that music is on a radio uh, on my disc player which I've just turned off it's nothing to do with my computers and I actually own it and Patrick Troughton <laughs> gets the lightning conductor invented by Benjamin Franklin in the corrupted American presidency right through the thorax <laughs> yeah quite spooky isn't it and all of the investigations and all of the satanism that means that that boy is born out of the American ambassador's bedchamber <laughs> Okay, the sun has come out here briefly. The wind last night was howling as I learned about the DuPont family and the links to these people. <laughs> okay, so that's the Omen film, yeah, the horror movies that keep us all scared.
scared shitless <laughs> oh scared shitless yeah and all the things that we have in the devil's advocate movie featuring my greatest heroine yeah and I'm trying to get in touch with her because she's <laughs> she's the parent of two bastard children <laughs> okay and I just found that out last night and to try and find out what other movies she made I, I have now looked and watched and it r this morning I was very worried that I would be stricken blind because I watched the film that the lovely I thought her name was Scarlett Johansson but that's another series of jokes and the films she makes are even more evil than the one that might have blinded me last night because the one that blinded, nearly blinded me last night was called The Nymphomaniac <laughs> and I've got pictures on some of these tabs let's see if we can escape from that and get you back to real life <laughs> okay so Benjamin Franklin one of the leading Freemasons in our world became the American president he invented the lightning conductor and loads of those things about the Tesla stories that Tesla used to be the employer of the Bushies if you believe any of that yeah all of the Bushies story I have now released yeah and the people that are the cocks in the richest bloodlines in the world are the covers for the people that are in the Tesla team yeah and all of the illegitimacy of all of those bloodlines for all of that time so there's a picture so let's get rid of the priest's death yeah, because everybody understands that the weather storms and the lightning and the concrete church roofs are to stave off the acts of God that did for the priest in the movie. <laughs> okay, and they need the time shift featuring Doctor Who because of the gap in the period between when the Pisos were running the mint in Rome and when they started writing the Bible round about 150 BC, they ended it as a family after running the mint for all of that time in 79 AD when Vesuvius erupted on their home I keep telling you that one so let's get rid of the priest <laughs> now dead thanks to Benji's in magic invention and I'll take you back through a few series of parables of photos so there's the one that invented the lightning conductor and that's him sitting on his rubberized chairs <laughs> yeah so that he cannot be grounded out and that becomes the execution method for the innocents in America <laughs> okay the near miss for oh no they were going to get strung up on the end of the rope that's George Clooney and his mates okay there's Benjamin he spent years in Europe talking to the French Freemasons and that's the French Freemasons that invited all of the le revolutionaries yeah, who was fighting on behalf of Napoleon funded <laughs> like the super elites all over Europe by the Rothschild family yeah, and I now have huge amounts of information on the interlocks and the alliance between the French revolutionaries who ended up in Adams's America yeah, that's Adam all part of the same joke ok and that's the Lalma tunnel in which Princess Diana was executed in the apple. Okay, <laughs> right then. So let's take you back one by one through the photos and I'll let you see how sexy this video is going to be. That's a revolutionary character. Okay, his name is Depardieu. <laughs> yeah, and I think we've missed one. Uh, and that's the curtain joke okay now it took me ages to suss out the curtain joke but I remembered because I've got a film called The Treasure of the Sierra Madre that one of the characters in it is called Curtain <laughs> and when you look for Curtain and the Treasure of the Sierra Madre you get robbers and all of them are not English speaking take a look at this okay one of my dad's favorite movies and it is a really poignant tale because it's about the diaspora and the paint your wagon joke yeah about going and making your fortune as a gold miner yeah with nothing 
but the pack on your ass's back and the ass in all of these stories is Jesus <laughs> stinking badges this bit's called it's a memorable scene okay so you've got one of the three in the Humphrey Bogart English speaking team that are looking peso concept yeah that's the peso which I now have in my collection of coinages yeah invented by the pesos who wrote the Bible and ran them in, in Rome 170 years before this one's <laughs> called Fred and I think he may be Curtin or Curtin could be the third member of the team and he's got the peso pistol <laughs> okay all through the Hollywood jokes that's the invention of the pistol and that is the piezo word in all of that joke right <laughs> and the piezo is still used in Mexico which is why Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid the bank robbers went there <laughs> the cleverest and lethalest family in world history you will give it we won't get it I'll show you <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Even the goldsmiths cannot stand up to that. <laughs> okay. Right then. So, you might not have seen that before. Watch it. The Gila monster, the whole thing, explains the Christianity from... Right then. So, one of them is Curtin. And that is the Von Trapp family singers in the curtains. <laughs> and when you look up on the internet, the curtains, yeah, because I'm expecting it to be a hair and a frau curtain, yeah, <laughs> out of Austria like Hitler was, that's Hitler Rothschild, but when you hit curtain financial dynasty, you get the Iron Curtain and you get the 13 Illuminati families that are the uh, fucking DuPonts yeah and that is Horatius at the bridge and all of the bridge jokes in world history and I've mentioned the bridge issues and Princess Diana buying the library in Naples where the Pisos worked okay and this is run by people from fucking Namur yeah that is the battle of Boromir story that I told you about and the Namur's coming across giddy up horsey for the summer fucking wars in Scotland and all of the horses had to be sacrificed and piled up 
to make the barriers in front of the castle and the royal fucking Windsor's Mile. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this is mainly today about the DuPonts, but let me show you the parables and the musical lessons. <laughs> okay, do you see the magnitude of it now? A dynasty of satanic royalty, the DuPonts, yeah, they are the people behind all of the massive uh, explosive factories all across America and they bring in through all of the French relatives from Namur they bring in the fucking <laughs> bailed out revolutionaries like Gerard Depardieu's man who is Georges like me and his other name is Danton and he's alleged to have been guillotined instead he's in the Mithraeum with the other masons in fucking America <laughs> right then let's show you some of that in pictures okay so do you get the curtain joke now it's the iron curtain it's the cold war it's the institute for foreign relations and I'll show you how all of that links into the uh, family that is the uh, DuPonts the massive I thought they were just uh, relatively guilty pharmaceutical companies because <laughs> ecologically their factories are unclean and the reason that they explode a lot is that the gods are onto everything they do <laughs> okay <laughs> so uh, that's the Von Trapp curtain joke about the curtains that are the Iron Curtain legacy and remember that all of these films are made in the 60s when we are brutalizing and we're right in the middle of the Cold War and we're executing President Kennedy and no one can know whether or not that's real yeah and Jackie Kennedy is an Anassis and Anassises are one of the most lethal eh, of the Illuminati families like the DuPonts and they're linked to eh, Cold Spring Harbor which is a link to the most genocidal yeah that is a college which is associated with eugenics that's what the Nazis did in the war okay so there they are in their curtains and on the lakes near Geneva okay and the registrations for the Namours and the uh, DuPonts and the DuPont Namours I've got all of their business details they're trading all around the world they've got four to five thousand subsidiaries uh, and they've got over 4,000 on the English business register alone. <laughs> right then, so do you get the curtain joke now? <laughs> and that is the curtains that hang on every theatre and watch the Marx Brothers. If the Marx Brothers feature a joke about climbing up the curtains, yeah, and swinging on them, yeah, <laughs> a night at the opera, yeah, you can bet your boots that there is some evil, sinister connotation and a rationale for it all. Okay, and I've told you already that the Von Trapp is a cover for the Von Tripp Formula One family and it comes into this story as usual. Okay, <laughs> one of the other families, and I saw Mr. Watson, the chemistry teacher, again in the... <laughs> in the pub the other night and he talked to me in a kind of penitent looking way did not suss it out the Watsons are in the clans and the mafias that are run by the DuPonts <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that is the Watsons that are the chemistry teachers here and that is the Watsons with Sherlock Holmes who are in fucking Baker Street and that is Baker Street where my wife was yeah, and that is Baker Street where the Baker Street are regulars and all of the double agent profiteering involving the Hambros and Jocelyn Hambro and all of those other people that have now been taken down off the internet and replaced by trivial diversions like the Von Trapp family singers in their curtains. Okay, so chemistry. This thing you see all around the recruitment issues in every institution on the globe because chemistry is really exciting you can get flashes and bangs like you get in the DuPont dynamite factories 
So the Rothschilds are colleagues. If you're in the Rothschilds team and you plant a false emperor into a nation like France, they're allowed to escape again using a silk ladder, which is a natural product and is perfect for making all of the prostitution dens that harbour all of the people that work in the back room or through all of those world wars. <laughs> yeah? But some just have to do with nylons and that's the American end of the profiteering spectrum because everything there is still owned by that empire state with the lightning conductor on the top. Because <laughs> God knows it is all so evil. That's why the Pope gets hit. That's why Francois Hollande, the president in the false socialist France world, like all of the Freemasons, that went to America. Let's show you a few more. No, let's get rid of the chemistry you know first. Because uh. <laughs> I've had to tolerate this all through my career. Remember the chemists, yeah, that is, <laughs> the people that are related to the banking dynasties, the Tucker, Tucker, Professor Tucker, was the head of the pharmacy school in Dunedin. He and the head of chemistry eh, proposed me for a Nobel Prize in chemistry because they thought they were outing me as a scam. That's going to be my next video. The confessions of the junior academics there who were asked to swear that I had done something that was worthy of dismissal. <laughs> yeah, and now they're all talking to me again because they've got horrible cancers. <laughs> right then. And the guy who was in charge of the injectable immunization programs, <laughs> he died really suddenly and that was one of the two or three funerals that I went to in Dunedin. So I have very few friends there, <laughs> even now. Hexane solution. And the next thing this is you want to make sure the hexane stays on top of the water, so you need to pour it gently. And a trick I use is to pour it down a glass stone rod. So you get a long chain polymer forming, and this one's clever enough to have two different coloured fluids. Yeah, to show you the interface there where all of the chemical reaction happens yeah and when you chuck some of the volatile metals right. into water in so the chemistry lab you can really enthrall the whole of your student base for all of their careers and you should be able to grab it with your stir bar and stir rod and you can see it on the top that it's formed, there you go. See, now we have pink nylon. So I'm going to show you here is a trick. You can wrap this around anything. Here I have a drill, so you can see. So, that is the nylon rope trick. And Napoleon escaped from Elba using the silk ladder. <laughs> okay, both of those are made for the stockings that allow the French to be one of the most treasonous places in the world because the socialists are profiteers in the Freemasons and in the government in Paris <laughs> yeah. and in the prostitution dens in Paris in President Hollande's case okay right then so let's get that up to full screen and I'll show you the rest of the photos and then we'll go on with the boring narrative okay so we're going backwards and that is the curtains the iron curtain communist menace joke yeah, all of those people that are Robespierre, and let's see who they are. So that's Connie Nielsen, and she's lovely. Yeah, she dances around in the Devil's Advocate with her tits and her arse out. Yeah, and everything's on display. And when I saw that she had made a film <laughs> called, <laughs> she had made a film called The Nymphomaniac, 
and now that I know that both of our children are, are parentless, one of them is a rock musician, yeah, who looks really, really crusty and decrepit, yeah, and she's lovely, lovely, lovely. So I think I might start some dating gestures with her. Yeah, and this morning I thought I would wake up blind, because that movie about <laughs> about the uh, about the uh, uh, nymphomaniac is absolutely <laughs> sordid. Yeah, it's about someone losing their virginity and then scoring as many lovers as they can in their life and one of the most efficient one and the biggest dream in life is called uh, uh, Jerome and all of that film was made at the same time as me and Greg Hallett were releasing and re-releasing the stories and the pictures about Randy Jerome Churchill yeah Randy uh, Jenny Jerome, yeah, <laughs> and that is Lady Randy that had over two thousand two hundred lovers and was uh, the parent of, I think it's, is it Bill Clinton? I think that's the case, yeah, and that's Churchill <laughs> is the sire of uh, both Bill Clinton and the Queen. That is Winston, and that is one of Winston Churchill's relatives, close relatives. She was married, I believe, to Randolph Churchill. Yeah, and you can see all of that. You can look look up Jenny Jerome on YouTube, and you'll see that it links into like a soap opera. <laughs> and the whole of world history is a fucking soap opera. But luckily, I have not been blinded by watching that film. She's only in episode one for about 30 seconds but she's in the publicity for it and <laughs> because they portray the women having orgasms and they're sweating like pigs with the P's old P-I word in it as they identify her and that's the Nielsen that is the joke about the P's old name being a translation for the Nile okay <laughs> and all of it keeps winding up into the same sordid sordid stories but she's absolutely beautiful yeah absolutely beautiful and yeah, she's just like my PA in New Zealand uh, and that's the PA that used to get her tits out too in Mr Tucker's Professor Tucker's pharmacy department yeah the whole of it is a massive stitch up and the corruption and the, the woman that makes the films that I thought played the role of the Emperor's sister yeah the reason that they picked a Dane is that the Danish bloodlines in the kings and queens are absolutely notorious for inbreeding yeah that's the story about Commodus and Connie and you now understand the Connie joke it's in the Godfather movie it's the Connies that are the rabbits yeah it is the conservative party it is Tory blue and the whole thing is quite sickening yeah and the Danish people <laughs> yeah it's just amazing how evil the world is so the Danish people are a lot to do with the launch of the DuPont family and you'll see a little bit about that later on okay and across the sea they go with the French socialists safely on board and their heads still on their shoulders despite the literature and that's why presumably the Dumasses that write the literature about the triumvirate the three musketeers yeah and d'artagnan yeah all of those heroic stories they become the people that are the penitent person on the right wing of the cross when jesus is on it and they become the Dumasses that are on the left wing which is the the non-penitent person and that the one who's penitent saves his soul because he's a right winger and a fascist and the others become the communist menace and they get killed in genocides all over the world like the Jews and it's all about not loving your neighbour as Jesus declared <laughs> so this could still be an innocent woman but you should have heard the winds howling through the rafters last night as I looked at the history of the DuPonts let's show you the other pictures 
unfortunately we don't have the picture of our sweaty orgasms in this portfolio but it's further down the story if we get time for it <laughs> the other people that are in the family that is the DuPonts are the Balls and that is Ed Balls who has a gay boyfriend and sells munitions as one of the uh, team in the government cabinet for David Cameron who's still in the government cabinet and all of these people take the fall for him <laughs> I forget what the name of his gay boyfriend is but they were selling weapons in Sri Lanka where the cricket is a favourite team yeah, game there <laughs> yeah, and that is Sri Lanka where they have the total insurrection that never ever stops because we keep selling them weapons and we keep demon demonising the new eastern religions that were also written by the Piso family out of Constantinople <laughs> yeah or uh, I forget the other name for it uh, Sarajevo yeah the start point for two of the great wars <laughs> with the help of the Humes of the borders they're not in the pictures this time Ah oh, no. So Ed Balls, Alan Ball. No, oh, we missed him. Alan Ball, yeah, with his little Chinese man's cap on in the richest world owners, in the Arsenal fucking team. That's Arsenal, a friend of Lagos the Rabbit and one of the early Pharaoh dynasties. Okay? Everything that my family in laws laugh at. Yet they took me to the church in Stowe on the Wold and the Arsenal players were there. <laughs> yeah, and they think it's hilarious that no one will, apart from them, because they're trained in Intel in Baker Street, that's Stephen Andrew Hancock's and Valerie Jane Lees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they trained in Baker Street, which has now become a new centre for the pop musicians there's nothing at all about the spying and the Baker Street Ele regulars this one one in 1066 the number of chapters oh sorry 1966 <laughs> okay uh, and there he is and he becomes a manager and all of them uh, I think he was an Everton player when I was a boy and that is where Hitler used to go and watch Everton playing when he was training in uh, Tavistock and he was training in Liverpool yeah, <laughs> and Liverpool is full of villainy and that, the, the medicine villainy Liverpool is a hub for profiteering in the NHS I can tell you the names later on if you can't find it out for yourself but the statins that are all over my website are all over the front and back pages of the newspapers today that's the drug safety issues that gets no funding at all all of these covers get billions and billions of dollars or pounds to keep the reputation of the world's richest people and I've got the bloodline somewhere on that list of eight Google Chrome tabs for President Obama <laughs> yeah and he links to the families that are the Washingtons and the uh <laughs> sorry I've forgotten it let's keep going back and show you all the pictures so the Ball families yeah and this is another one of my one true loves she replaced Terry Terry Wogan, yeah, as the speaker on Radio Two every morning, and she her replacement was the red-headed guy that is an absolute imbecile. He got many of my emails, and he confirmed receipt of all of them. I forget what you call him. Okay, Zoe Ball is lovely, <laughs> yeah, and she is part of that massive dynasty that takes you into the lethal and satanic DuPonts of Paris, Nemur, yeah, and eventually of all across America, yeah, when all of the Indians are dead, <laughs> yeah, and are ever so humorous, yeah, until they get exposed. <laughs> I'd love to meet Zoe in the flesh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> right then, let's get going. Okay, so this is the Institute for Foreign Relations, yeah, University of Warsaw. But the Yanks have a massive set of frauds involving people that were in Kennedy's government 
trying to keep the Americans out of Vietnam, if you believe that. I don't believe any of it. They failed in all of those campaigns to stop the carpet bombing, the defoliation. I forget the name of it. It's in the tabs further down. Okay, there's Sherlock Holmes. There is the only mention of the Baker Street Irregulars, and that is the Pi Pi Piso family pipe. Okay, that is the spying agency that sucked in 50,000 people in World War II, linked to the Red Caps, and the people that are prepared to put <laughs> the innocents and the absolutely courageous people that try and fight for their country in the war and do not fight for profit, yeah, they get lined up and shot by all of the disloyal people. And that is called Satanism in the movies and the descriptors for everything I've got on the other tabs. Okay, and the next one is Baker Street again, because Holmes and Watson, do you get it? Watson is in the family. <laughs> and Baker Street, the bakers are all part of the turn the bones to flower joke. Okay, it does not get more evil than that. Yeah, and the train stations are the underworld. Yeah, that's Halle's. And everything for them is a festive. Yeah, because of the piezo involvement. Okay, uh, just a few more in the parables. There's Holmes and Watson. Dr. Watson actors. Yeah, they're absolutely infallible in every crime that they detect with a piezo fucking pipe in both of their fucking hands. <laughs> yeah, and the deer stalking gear and all of it is so sick, it's incredible. <laughs> and that is where my wife, yeah, and my uncle Stephen, yeah, with his poofy boyfriend, yeah, all of the, when they got married, we were not invited to it. When I have to come across the world, I have to pay for five fares. Yeah, I'm not allowed to talk to any of them on the phone now because I've got all their director numbers and they know it. <laughs> right then. <laughs> so, let's get back to, and there's the iron curtain thing. I'll show you now. Let's open up the tab. Let's get rid of those in case it slows us down. And we'll just go to one note and I'll show you. So we've seen the nylon rope trick and we've mentioned Napoleon. Yeah? And that is the body double for uh, the Napoleon, who was a Le Normand, and he escaped. Yeah, but there were so many bo body doubles for Napoleon that they had to start killing them. <laughs> yeah, and the real body double for Hitler went to Barcelona, and he had to be killed there by Winston Churchill, who's one of the world's biggest killers. Yeah, and he helped to train Stalin and Hitler in Britain at Tavistock. <laughs> and he got Stalin out by attending the Sydney Street Siege, right next to the Rothschilds Shrubbery in Cheapside, right next to the Bank of England, which is totally owned by these fraudsters since uh, the Battle of Waterloo, <laughs> when Terry Wogan was still presenting Radio 2 in the mornings, and ABBA won the Eurovision Song Contest, laughing at the sequestration by the Rothschilds of the central banks and the Rothschilds are friends and colleagues of the DuPonts no surprise all of the Illuminati families <laughs> right then so bye bye nylon rope trick and let's open up some of the tabs I'll give you a quick glimpse of the <laughs> Obama things the sun went in when I showed it again because all of these bastards are in the same bloodlines so we start with Queen Elizabeth II, the German Windsor, w -w 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 Windsor, yeah, that starts those two great conflicts in their same lifetime. <laughs> yeah, we go to the Bose Lions, and they are not the Bose Lions, that's the maid. Okay, we then go to Michael Benteen with a twist of a couple of letters, and we get Charles Cavendish Bentink. <laughs> then we go to the Portlands and the Porchesters and the Harley Street links, Edward Harley, 2nd Earl of Oxford, yeah, right next door to Blenheim, yeah, and Earl Mortimer, okay, another one, 
first Earl of Oxford, Sir Edward Harley, his father. Do you get it? The w w w Windsor, just to let them know it's us joke. Brilliana Harley, Edwin Conway Senior, Elton Head, that's the Eton jokes for the West Westminster family, that is Elton John, that is the new head of the Socialists, who is the same character and actor that played David Kelly's killer. Yeah? <laughs> uh, and all of it is a massive joke, and that is Thackeray in the New World Order writers, yeah? And that is the Corbys in all of the stories about Glam's Castle. And the floods have not abated from any of those places, and it will not abate until they stop telling these lies and committing all of these sins against their electorates. Martha Hickman, relatively innocent, I think. Edwin Hickman, James Lewis Hickman, Susanna Browning, Annie, this is this is typical. My wife has hanging in the garage one of the last things that she left for me. Her overalls. Yeah. Tory blue. Yeah. Absolutely it's the same red, white and blue joke that all of the know nothings run. That's why my wife is trained in all the jokes about Robert Maxwell and all of those sick things that she has told me in my marriage and I never understood any of them while I had my head in the test tube yeah, like the chemistry people Mr Watson is a really nice guy he's a very capable teacher and I'm sure he has nothing to do with this at this level but he's very intimate with my wife yeah, like all of the rest of the team ok, George Washington overall <laughs> yeah, her son ok, Susan Catherine Clark Remember the Celtic football team that I read out? <laughs> okay, give and the clerks who do the drug running, yeah, and do the false murders on the Isle of Wight where the royal babies are, yeah, before they get murdered by the fat people in the lineage. Gabriella Arma, Ruth Lucelle Dunham. Not sure who the Dunhams are. That is a series of actors launched in to obfuscate the fact that three generations down you have Barack H. Obama. 44th president of the USA, Stanley Ann Dunham's, he's a doctor, and that's his daughter, is married then, presumably, to the Obama man. But Phil McConnell told me that he went to his school, and if he went to his school, that is a telling indictment that Phil McConnell is in with <laughs> the people like uh, the, uh, the Rockefellers, yeah, and that is... Uh, Kermit Rockefeller <laughs> yeah, and the Gonzo jokes and everything is a cover up for them and I've got Merkel's lineages and I've got uh, Vladimir I've got uh, Putin's lineages <laughs> all of them are super elite families and none of them do a stitch of work and all of their politics are just lies <laughs> and the Michael Benteen I have no proof that that is Michael Benteen <laughs> yeah that's the Goon Show. <laughs> yeah, that's the Eccles and the Benteen and all of the jokes about Ecclesiastes and Eccleston and everything that's in the fucking Bible. Okay? <laughs> so, let's get on to the DuPonts. It was absolutely howling last night. Absolutely howling. It must be quite spooky for the neighbours when I look at these things. Okay? So this is the start of the, you know how we found the tabs that gave the 13 elite families? Yeah, and it's got umpteen different ways of spelling it, with capital letters at different places, and they're from Namur, where the Summer War Army came out of, into Edinburgh, and they fought the conflict with all of the Freemasonic and Piso numbers, 300, 600, the number of victims, it's just like the number of victims in the shooting in the Great Escape movie. And that means it was 50 that were shot down there, and that means none. <laughs> yeah, the none in the Abbey, yeah, in Mary's story, out of Austria, and in the curtains, when they get the story to its culmination. How do you solve a problem like Maria? 
Okay, so John Coleman, that's the Jewish researcher, a researcher on the elite. The Colemans are in the families too, commenting to me that when he had researched the Queen of Denmark, he had discovered yeah, Connie Nielsen, absolutely lovely, and her tits are all over the media, <laughs> was slipping away secretly from everyone, and they were going to satanic rituals. It is also noteworthy that five modern kings of Denmark have been the leaders of Freemasonry. <laughs> yeah, all of it is the cause of all of our societal problems, and it's absolutely ancient. Okay, it's also noteworthy that they were in Denmark and the Danish royal family, princes etc., have been active masons. John Dale, that's not Jim Dale, the Cockney who played <laughs> Brian Hall, yet the know nutting in all of those false newses out of far Parliament Square, yeah, and makes uh, all of those Hollywood movies in the carry on team, yeah, it's another Dale. Okay? wrote a book on the Prince and the Paranormal which goes into the secret occult activities of the British royal family, especially Prince Charles, but also many other royal family members too. Besides the secret occult activ activities of the British monarchy, they have been openly leaders of Freemasons. Okay, that's Greg Hallett's stories about all of the people that are in those massive uh, castles in London. Okay, yeah, and some of them, if they're really, really guilty, like Prince Eddie, gets sent to Glam's, yeah, and their relatives know he's still alive, yeah, and they also know that he's a mass murderer and Jack the Ripper deviant, okay? They are, yeah, and in the Denmark story, it's the joke about Bonnie Dundee, because the D Dundee is where all of the cartoon characters come from. I have not got an Urwally or a Bruns book, but they are the Denmark country. And that is Desperate Dan, and it's Dan Daniel in the cave, yeah, Daniel's den in my local region, one of the fishing beaches for the gillies, <laughs> yeah, and many of the king's names are Christian, which is it totally imp implies that they totally understand the Christianity fraud written by the Pisos, and in the NATO stories, about I forget the name of the man that was the head of NATO, he's Danish. And he's a cross-dresser for a laugh, and he's an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, and I write to all of the European magnates, yeah, and the name of the woman that is Barroso's secretary and news agency leader is Pia, uh, Pia Anderson or something, uh, and Pia is the Piso joke. Okay, in fact, the Duponts have better control over the press's coverage of them than the British royal family. <laughs> yeah, a very public image and they too have a totally hidden life. Okay, I had never ever considered that anybody in pharma could be as evil as this. Yeah, and I don't know whether or not they are evil, but the way the winds were howling last night <laughs> suggests to me that the people that look down on this for all of biological time know exactly how evil they are. One of the clues that the family is a top satanic family are the frequency of marriages between relatives of the DuPont descendants. <laughs> and I've got nothing to pin on Connie Nielsen. She's absolutely the ideal woman, which is why she's picked for the Devil's Advocate team as the Devil's daughter. <laughs> yeah, and that's her making love to the Devil's son because they want to keep the Danish bloodline together. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that's Donald Trump. And all of these stories mean that all of the people are in the same elite bloodlines like Hillary fucking Clinton. <laughs> and all of it's all over. In Scotland, you can buy the, uh, the New York Times, two pounds an issue, and all that's on it is the same stories about the covers for everything I've revealed. <laughs> Tits out, devil's daughter, okay? And that, I think, is maybe the role that she plays. And there's Mary, the virgin, <laughs> yeah, the wife of the devil's advocate, who yeah, has her baby by the devil. Yeah, and that is the virgin birth. 
right there. <laughs> yeah, and it's all absolutely enthralling because the characters in that become the bosses at Everton and Manchester United too. That's the Moyes case. Okay, so this is Scarlett Johansson. You should see the movies she makes. I think if I watched them, I would definitely be cast blind. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a list of them further down, I think, and it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, this is the one that played the tennis player that got shot <laughs> by Joachim Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, and Joachim Phoenix is now looking ever so old. And I saw some... Oh, here she is. She's lovely. Yeah, and she plays the loyal person to the gladiator, which is another romantic affiliation. Yeah, because I see myself as the gladiator now. I'm the only one who's prepared to take on the, co the corrupted governments, almost globally. <laughs> Thank you to the American people who have written to me and said that they would like to keep their identity anonymous because they're writing to me with pen and ink. Yeah, that will not be possible, I'm afraid. <laughs> and I saw the woman who took my signed receipt for the letter to the Queen yesterday. She does not look me in the eye anymore. <laughs> and there's Commodus. Yeah, and that is the Danish inbreeding joke about the brother wanting the sister desperately. And she's got the Jesus swaddling clothes on. <laughs> Even prenatally. <laughs> right then. So, uh, we can look for it and uh, so <laughs> this is still Scarlett Johansson because I got the name wrong so Scarlett Johansson plays all sorts of things in she's ho a hooker uh, and she's in the BMW jokes yeah about the woman that I talked about yesterday in as Britain's richest German uh, that's the woman Clatton yeah despite being very much a New Yorker Scarlett took to the Hollywood scene with a plum. The A-list status had its benefits, such as an art collection, a cool BMW, and even cooler boyfriends. She's dated Josh Hartnett and Sean Payne. Yeah. <laughs> Shared with Madonna. Scarlett was also married to Ryan Reynolds. The Reynoldses in the 13 Illuminati family, and the Paynes are married to... Yeah, the Madonna linkages. Her next serious relationship was with French creative agency boss Romain Durayac. The couple announced, okay, and there are no pictures of since I revealed that Bill Clinton and Hitler used the little blue dress thing as covers for each other's affairs with Eva Braun and with uh, Monica Lewinsky. There are no pictures of the gladiators. Uh, lover, former lover, and the brother of the emperor who killed Marcus Aurelius in the movie. <laughs> yeah, and Marcus Aurelius, as you now all know, is the great-grandfather of, uh, the great-grandson of Arius Copernicus Piso, and he launched the Anai Amici, yeah, and all of the outbreaks of Christianity, north, east, and west, and to the south, into the Nile in Africa. <laughs> and all of the genocides everywhere they go. Okay, so we've got the pain linkages, the BMW and the Ryan, Private Ryan and the Reynolds. So Private Ryan is in the Nixon jokes. Okay, and all of them get access to her two poles. Yeah, that's the front port of entry and the rear port of entry. And I nearly, I thought I would really be waking up blind this morning when I watched the uh, Nymphomaniac movie. <laughs> Right then. <laughs> okay, Gwyneth Paltrow gets her tits out too, and yeah, and this, she's in the same films that that woman, uh, Scarlett Johansson, makes. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one who will not talk to me because I've revealed that I want to get the government exposed for what they do. She's in the Lord of the Rings film with my brother-in-law's mate, who's given us the signed copy of the Lord of the Rings, and he's the poofda who's got all of those massive business interests that plays Gandalf <laughs> and he's char in charge of the National Theatre and all sorts of corporate scams okay <laughs> so few people are aware of the immense importance of bloodlines play in the upper levels of Satanism 
let's get down to the revolutionary France diasporas okay and this is Johansson's films okay so she is a total religious fraudster because she celebrates a little of both Christmas and Hanukkah yeah that's the festival of lights she's making those jokes because she's just like the cold play player uh, singer that uh, that that woman that I just talked about was married to that's Chris Martin he was a cover for the joke that he's married he's on the uh, Mayflower like that song I played you Ryan Reynolds yeah. Canadian actor Ryan Reynolds she was married began dating him and I think she's got a daughter by him it was reported that they were engaged on September 2008 the couple married in a quiet ceremony near Torino they purchased a two point home in Los Angeles and the couple announced their separation in 2011 ok <laughs> Christian and Jewish <laughs> ok and she, none of the pictures of the gladiators uh, would be escape team Yeah. so that's when I learned I was on the wrong street because that's Connie Nielsen Yeah. and the picture would have had her depicted in the little blue dress <laughs> ok and there's Russell Crowe he's looking ever so old I saw the man who is the rugby player from Scotland in the supermarket again two days ago. They've now got body. Uh, they've got the school bullies looking into what I'm doing out of hoik, yeah. And that is the Weatherston families, and all of the jokes about the tire making families take you into the Ferrari jokes and all of the Formula One cover-ups. <laughs> okay. And there's Connie Nielsen, no picture, because I'm onto them now. Yet there's Richard Harris, and that is the Aryan joke too. And he must have died with a massive conscience, because every movie he makes, including the Arthurian things, are jokes about the world's greatest beliefs, all of which are lies. <laughs> okay, so let's get down to some of the more modern killings by the... Uh, <laughs> by the Illuminati okay for instance George W. Ball is on the important permanent steering committee of the Bilderbergers so the Balls are in the family and has attended the Bilderberg meetings that I know of starting with the original first meeting in 1954 then 55, 57, 63, 64, 66, 67 when Alan was winning the World Cup for England George W. Ball is also a member of the committee for foreign relations that is all of the wars that America commits to in the name of homeland security right back into Korea ok the trilateral commission too ok you'll see how the three keep coming out of those other French revolutionary trains yeah and here's another Casanova joke yeah this is the three day event for the Duke of Roxburgh we've got the Casanova sponsors Gardner, yeah, the Gardners, that is uh, Elliot Gardner, the opera conductor, and he could well be Mr. Harris, the owner of Buttons, too, he's a dead likeness for him. Okay, Gardner was a sister to a DuPont, Dorsey Casanova, Gardner was a distant cousin, Will Gardner and Bessie Gardner DuPont were cousins of the DuPonts. Do you get the joke why Hitler was a gardener in Barcelona? Yeah, at the Montserrat Abbey, yeah, where the rat word is in it. Yeah, John W. Gardner is a 60 Illuminatus and in charge of the Rockefellers Brothers Fund. I have found the Gardners in the thick of Satanism and witchcraft. <laughs> Took me quite a long time to get to sleep last night. I kept focusing on Zoe Ball, but even that would not work. <laughs> right then. <laughs> So, George Ball, diplomat, this one, is on the Institute for Foreign Relations and he tries to keep America from bombing uh, Vietnam. Yeah, totally in unsuccessful in everything that he pretends to be doing to combat all of the policies yeah, of Nixon, Johnson and even Kennedy in the early days. Okay, 
16,000 trainees to Vietnam. Ball, the one dissenter in Kennedy's entourage, pleaded with G GFK to recall France's devastating forces. Yeah, that's France. Yeah, the revolutionary socialists fighting with America to out the communist menace. And all of the Freemasons that were Danton and all of those people, yeah, the Robespierre, it begins to become the linguistics of the Robesons and the Robsons that run the Bank of Scotland. <laughs> the complete facts are difficult. There's Alan Ball. Yeah, with the three lions for long shanks on his jersey, the lions lying down, and the Abyssinian jokes about the Nile and the Pichon and the Garden of Eden. At the library I checked out a book DuPont by William Dutton. The book had been a gift by Jes Joseph Frazier Walls. Okay, the walls are in the family too. That's Max Wall that my mother-in-law used to do passable impressions of <laughs> Nesta Hancock's yeah, I'm not allowed to talk to her now <laughs> the book's author J. Wall was financed to write the book by the trustees of the Jesse Ball DuPont Fund when a family is worth billions they can afford to tidy up their family histories and keep people from spilling the beans about secrets on May 16, 1893 the press reported the death of Alfred Victor Dupont with great laudatory comments. Alfred, known as Fred, had been in business in Louisville, Kentucky, and was widely known in the area as a philanthropist. Yeah, that's the Ken <laughs> Jewish joke. Yeah. Louisville's main paper, the Louisville Commercial, gave the public a totally fictitious story about how Vic Albert Alfred Victor Dupont died along with many pages of the highest phrase. Praise. Okay, the false story said that Fred died of apoplexy while visiting his brother Bitterman. Okay, both Fred Dupont and his nephew Coleman. Yeah, this is the Coleman covering the anti Semitic Jewish murders in World War II. Yeah, and who's interested in the Illuminati family. Yeah, so one of them is a Coleman Dupont. Can you see why the Coleman was chosen to cover the writings and to investigate the frauds? Gordon Bowden and Lord Sanderson of were regularly customers at the most expensive house of prostitution in the area. Okay, and this is just like the film I watched last night, Maggie Payne's Bordello. Although rich, Fred was not willing to help support a distraught prostitute raise the child she was sure he had sired, so she shot Fred in the heart. <laughs> okay, and it goes on and on and on. Okay, and the winds were howling outside. I don't know how a prostitute with so many customers could know which one was the parent, but clearly she had presented the case to him uh, and he had deserted her cause and she took rather <laughs> lethal actions against him okay and the cover-up is because they own all of the local press like eh, Prince Charles owns the Southern Reporter yeah, and all of the people they get moved around on it when I expose them as getting me thrown out of the police station to prevent me reporting crimes about nuclear extinction threats as soon as I mention the links of the Southern Reporter to the Prince's Trust. <laughs> okay, and I take my judgments from the gods. Okay, Henry Watterson's, this is the launch of Watterson's, the bookshop. Editor of the Courier Journal, although he later admitted he knew the real story of the murder, went ahead and printed the false story on behalf of the DuPonts. So, the roots of the Waterstones, yeah, that's the academic bookshops. The 13 top families do control the press and are very sensitive to any negative publicity of any kind. That's the Thompson twins in the video I made about the rich list. Let me take you before we get, oh here's the Watsons, and too quickly I'll show you them. So that's the Watson family, yeah, who uh, are in ch six degree Illuminati are in charge of the newsletters and the Shapiros help out with that. 
yeah and the Shapiros become ballet dancers in Britain and everything that is in these evil families so the USS, US and USSR Trade and Economic Council which Rockefeller plays a big part of Shapiro is or was director of Continental American Insurance Company International Business Machines under IBM that's the richest people under Bill Gates in Irving Shaw Saul Shapiro was chairman of the DuPont company IBM is Microsoft in Nuremberg and the Gates billion dollar empire and those three or four people that are in the world's top 100 wealthiest people okay <laughs> do you get it uh, and we mentioned then the links to the Apple empires that's and the, uh, here's the French coming out of Burgundy okay and this is the evil witchcraft people and their Huguenots Anne Alexand Alexandrine Mont Chenin and that's also got the Cheney linkages in it and they were in 1737 in Paris remember the revolution was in 1789 okay Anne's bloodline yeah may possibly tie into the house of David same story as uh, we told you for the Piso authors okay <laughs> yeah and it's the same families out of Versailles and Namur later Pierre Samuel added de Namur to his name to prevent confusion between him and his other French legislatures named Dupont Pierre Samuel Dupont was a genius his father Samuel could not understand the boy's genius such as his ability at age 12 to translate Greek and Latin and sight. okay let's take you now to these pages okay so we've mentioned the links to Namur where they came out to fight the summer wars out of Normandy and the Belgian war dead scenes <sighs> okay and this is what you find when you go to the business records okay it's getting gusty out there now <laughs> okay this is what you find so it didn't take me long to do this bit 4,000 companies UK registered first St John's second Cold Spring Harbour <laughs> eugenics subsidiary out of Bristol okay so a search for DuPont okay just one word and what do I get I get Uh, 4,409 companies the first of them is St John Street that's Santiago never lived yeah? the author of the fraudulent bible London <laughs> second floor <laughs> yeah it's up in the heavenly regions in the Metatron ok second one building 100 Bristol Centre Cold Harbour Lane yeah, the spring, the Cold Spring Harbour joke is about the leading eugenics university in America. <laughs> and that's the Aryan Master Race, okay? That's registered in Bristol, where all of those laundering boiler rooms are. And then we go down to DuPont, and there are, hundred, there are f over 4,000 of these. Next one's Stevenage, Hertfordshire. <laughs> okay? don't tell you anything about their net worth this one's got assets of 22,000 pounds <laughs> yeah 4,000 subsidiaries that one's got no assets at all must be tax season for them okay DuPont Consulting Solihull West Midlands DuPont Catering Limited so they've got the dinner ladies too <laughs> so I scaled down a bit so we could go to Stamford Square in London DuPont Catering, DuPont Investments is Stratford Road Hall, Birmingham, where the Royal Hospital is. Yeah, and Malala gets her brain blown out, but they're able to fix it there in the false news. Okay, none of them have even got a million pounds at the bank. That one's my net worth is minus 134,000. That's Chateau DuPont Europe Limited, 69 Great Hampton Street, Birmingham. <laughs> DuPont Business Management Limited and that's in the Burnham Wood joke okay 2 Church Street 
everything in every address tab is part of the story about the laundering or the false religion that all of these people sell. Yeah, and they're Satanists and they know it's false and that is really, really sinister because every one of the loyal worshippers gets pulled into that joke. Dupont Berry Consultant <laughs> Flat 59.9 Albert Embankment, London and the story that I saw in that Make Me Blind film last night about the nymphomaniacs it's got all sorts of pictures of people with their penises all lined up in register registrations yeah and that's the same story as what I told about Prince Albert having the chain him being a homosexual and him being killed by the Windsor family yeah and all of that film was pub published absolutely at the same time as Greg Hallett and me were talking on Skype <laughs> the new Greg Hallett is a total treasonous person and Gordon Watson knows that because <laughs> in the early days he claimed that he was coming from Kelso High School as a youngster and he will do nothing to expose all of the Anzac massacres in all of the battlefields that he fought in Rupert Murdoch makes those films okay Weatherston and Hoyt links to the tyre industry and see below Michelin and the Jewish Hancock's customer satisfaction through the Deutschland backroom all over Europe and into the USA with Don Danton, Robespierre and the French Freemasons all the same story as the Battle of Burham here and the Scottish rugby coaches and the bus sales <laughs> ok yeah everybody is on the take Arthur Hasty and all of those guys at Murrayfield who have got yourselves registered on the board so that Scottish rugby can never be solved I think the Flemings are quite content to be masses or something in that team. <laughs> Dupont de Nemours, Dupont. Okay, some of them. These are the original companies that with the original name from Namur, right next door to all of those bloody battlefields, right next to Brie in the hole in the Maginot line, and it is tragic. Okay, Mechelen. Unknown Belgian address, unknown, zero, 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 zero. <laughs> cash, none, cash, none, none of them have cash at the bank. All laundering platforms. Okay, that one's in Luxembourg. Okay, only five hits for the parent company. The last is in private radio in Luxembourg. Okay, and here's the global registrations. <laughs> and that takes you into all sorts of funny places <laughs> okay it's gone dark outside the sun came out briefly when I began to make it and I showed the parables <laughs> and the priest getting the uh, the uh, lightning conductor that had been invented by the American president right through the heart okay global corporates filtered by jurisdiction okay they start in Poland the easiest way to show you this though let me just show you how massive this is ok so filtered by jurisdiction Alabama 13, Alaska 5, Arizona 15 241 in Belgium that's near Verdun and near Namur's 21 in Colorado, 41 in Connecticut, where the Mayflower landed, 301 in Delaware, that's the Dilla Warren jokes about the super elites that came across, yeah, out of the masters of the horse dynasty in the UK. <laughs> Dilla Warrens, yeah, 282 in inbred Denmark, 304 in the District of Columbia, 300 in Florida, 49 in Georgia, Two in Gibraltar, <laughs> 15 in Idaho, 117 in Hong Kong, 15 in India, 81 in Indiana, US, 1 in Jersey, <laughs> which is right next door to the Moors, 9 in the Isle of Man, 23 in Kansas, 3 in Liechtenstein, 
104 in Louisiana, 27 in Luxembourg, 8 in Maine, their product is dynamite. Did you know that? <laughs> One in Malta, yeah, that's the ball man that has the gay boyfriend, yeah, and goes with the trade delegations with David Cameron all across the world and sells all of the dynamite in Sri Lanka so they can blow themselves to bits and they can watch the cricket match the next day. <laughs> 47 in Maryland, yeah, the religious virgin. 84 in Massachusetts, 6 in Mauritius, 13 in Mexico, 84 in Minnesota, where they have one of the 26 Federal Reserve Banks, 20 in Mississippi, where they've got alligators and crocodiles, 27 in Missouri, 37 in the Netherlands, 20 in Nevada, USA, that's Las Vegas, where Alice Dare Hutton runs the military tattoo, 11 in New Brunswick, 61 in New Hampshire, 71 in New Jersey, 158 in the Empire State of New York, 5 in New Zealand, 5 in Newfoundland and Labrador, 5 in 43 in North Carolina, 6 in Norway, <laughs> 41 in Ohio, 16 in Oklahoma, 70 in Panama, where the Rothschilds still draw down payments on the Panama Canal, 4 in Poland, <laughs> 924 in Quebec, yeah, <laughs> the Dulac region for the French fraudsters, 26 Rhode Island, 6 in Romania, Tennessee, Vermont, 707 branch relationships, 101 in Washington with the, uh, what was the Washington uh, <laughs> overalls joke, yeah, and the, 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 uh, now the revelations that Obama's lineage is from Harley Street, the stammering King linkage, yet to every one of the candidates for the American presidency in the forthcoming election, all being bloodline relatives of each other. Okay, so, uh, what is the last one? I think this is where we can have a look at it and we could click on it, because what we've not got here so this is <laughs> let me just show you how I've summarized it because it's quite stunning when you discover it okay global ideas and the national sovereignty in inverted commas claims since Danton the revolutionary left for the USA and Benji Franklin invented the lightning conductor for the church roof and the Empire State Building I am King Kong in that story and the planet of the apes and Greystoke but not the flooded Cumbrian Greystoke, yet yeah, that's the film that they made about the Duke of Roxburgh's castle and the ape man, Tarzan, walking around, yet yeah, scratching under his armpits, yet yeah, like the monkey from the jungle. And Ma Jane, that's Mrs. Valerie Jane Lees, works for the Rothschilds, twinned to the Duponts, and the tarot card occult. <laughs> Sorry. They do not own the flags, which I was hoping to shock you with, but everything else, and the f copyright on the flags, but everything else is sold down the good old Swanee River. So click on this for the nation stolen out of France and the lot turned to stone by the revolutionary Masons who get them and the chinks and the Vietnamese denounced as commies as the Connie's rabbits sweep all over the dismembered world one believes Coniston is in Cumbria in the wet patch with the butcher of Cumberland that did the Culloden massacre. <laughs> the floods are massive and they're continuing right into this weekend. <laughs> thank you to the Hoyk people that are trying to negotiate that and thank you for your insight and honesty into the business frauds. <laughs> right then. Uh, and that is business frauds that we've already talked about involving Warren Buffett and Tesco's. Tesco's in Gala Shields scammed the local council out of all of their massive property and they were able to build on, on former council owned land and now the council tax is being hit on because people are a little bit tardy with that and they're able to jail them but you cannot jail Tesco's because Warren Buffett is thousands of miles away in the States. 
Right then. So, uh, and there's a Connie tab, but I want to show you what happens when we click on that. That's uh, open corporates, and let's have a look at the flags that are behind the first of these 6,000 or so subsidiaries of the explosives firm. <laughs> okay? And you know that the Russians are being demonised. Yeah? Here we 